we are back with another video introducing the Superbox S7 Max. Let's get into it. First off, it's the same as the S5, S6. Similar, both the same. Let's see what else we got. We got the same remote. The only difference with the S6 Max and the S5, you actually have USB-C. So it's USB to USB-C. That's how you plug it in now. There you go. Same as the S6, I mean S5, S6, same model, same layout. But in the back, instead of the the DC instead of the regular plug-in. Now it's USB-C. Which is cool. Because now you can actually plug USB-C to here and plug your USB back to your TV. And you really don't need this if you think about it. But yeah. Looks the same. Let's get into it. Just plugged it in to USB-C. I'm gonna go more into how I set up these boxes or when you purchase a box from me, this is how you're gonna get it after I'm done setting it up. But this is the straight box from scratch, brand new. First, when I get it, I go to this microphone and I set that up, the remote, follow the directions as it says on the screen. Once it's paired, now you don't have to aim it to the box. And I go my Wi Fi. Once that's set up, connect it. First, you know, look at the layout. The layout's different, so that's one thing that's new go to the app store once that's done open up apps create the disclaimer notice you really don't have to wait till it goes down to zero once it says okay that's okay there are going to be four main apps that you want to download so you got blue vod You do them all at the same time, but I usually wait, it goes faster. Blue TV. Blue sports is pretty cool. It's nothing but, it's just like blue TV, but it's all your sports. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little app. You got your playback. Playback is your DVR for seven days. But I'm gonna get more into this box where it shows you where you really don't even have to use that playback. Not really anymore. Backup TV. When you purchase a box from me, this is how you're going to get it. This is how I do it. I know there's a lot of other YouTubers out there who do their boxes different, set their boxes up different. But this is how I do it when you purchase a box from me. Download YouTube for you guys. The last thing I do is down, download it. Once all that's complete, exit out. Then I just start setting it up. So I got my live TV. Put blue TV there. VOD. Put that there. Put playback. Playback there. And then I add YouTube right there. Now the reason why I do downloader is because I will show you. Go to browser. I scroll up. Exit all this out. Just leave the H. I put in DO. It's called HDO app. HDO 
period a p p backslash forward slash whatever that is this one right here tv and then bam once that's downloaded or once that opens up you can download it now this app that i'm downloading is um for you know um different movies movies in the movie theater uh, whatever you can't find on the vod i suggest you go here this one has like mostly a lot everything else that you're looking for open that up once that's secured i just click to anyone welcome to dairy let's do that one real quick i'll just play it because i need to install the drama player you just have to have good wi-fi that's how that's why it's so fast on my end install done so i'm gonna exit out because that's done already you can watch anything you want on that go home and i'm gonna put it right here bam there you go what's new about the s7 max first you know like i said you got your layout oh excuse me first you got your layout your the whole design the front screen home is different that looks pretty cool let's go into blue tv that looks different once it loads up this remote actually teaches you all the buttons everything that's on the remote and how to use it when you're on blue tv go to the right little arrow to the right oh oops oh. yeah it just shows you all that how to use your remote pretty cool but don't show again available in settings okay if i just press that i won't show it again bam so the layout's still the same as the s5 and the s6 got your categories over here it's still the same um, what up oh let me show you what's different um let's just go to time shift and click to one let's go to bravo we click to bravo now when i was talking about you don't need the playback app really no more because that's a seven day you know dvr you actually could rewind this up to seven days now it used to be only eight hours but if you just scroll, keep on scrolling, 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 scrolling back. See, I went to October. Keep on going. Oh, there you go. So right now it's um, October at 2 a.m. Keep on going. Like I said, you can go all the way up to seven days. So October is 22nd. That's a, another cool thing about the box the new box um what else everything else is still the same you have to create your favorites and how you do that is just hold down the okay button and that white heart will pop pop up highlighted and then just keep on doing that to whatever ones you want to save to undo it just do the same thing that's how you save all your favorites. You got 2,045, 2,045 channels. Let's go to VOD. VOD is different now. The whole layout's different. I mean, it's still the same, but I'll show you. For example, you go to movies. Now what's cool about it, you got your categories all in order. To the left, you got your Netflix, your Amazon, Disney Plus, Apple, Google. Peacock, Max, AMC, Hulu, Paramount, as far as everything. 
and then you got your everything all, all right here all your new releases if you go to Netflix, you go to new releases on Netflix, and then that pops up. It's more organized. The VOD is more organized now. I can show you a little shortcut. So when you load something, see how long it takes? If you exit out, play again, bam, loads up quicker. I like VOD better because you could fast forward, and it doesn't really buffer at all. If you have good internet now with the HDO app that I did install if you do purchase for me or when you do purchase for me um, it that app kind of like buffers here and there but if you have good internet then um, you shouldn't have a problem now how to clean up your box once in a while you go to settings you go to App Store you just click the, all these apps. So you go to four stop and then clear cache. Blue TV, I mean blue VOD, four stop, clear cache. Never do clear data because if you do that, then you erase all your favorites and all your stuff that whatever you had saved on those VOD or live TV on your favorites. Don't, don't never, never clear the clear data, only clear cache. And with Blue TV, four stop, clear cache, downloader. And that's it. And then you go down to that little broom right here, bottom left, third icon. And clean that up. Usually I go down to zero, system memory. It'll show 128. I'll, I'll click it until it goes down to zero. That's just how I do it. Once that's done, then your power button. This is the power to the server box. That's where you aim. That's the only time you gotta aim to turn off your box. That's how you turn it off properly. Now, once that red light disappears, go ahead and aim it again, the remote to the box to turn it back on, and bam, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned.